Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, uh, what do we got here? It's a Baker rifle. It's a hand-me-down from my grandpa. You mind if I take a look at it? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Ezekiel Baker, London. Gunmaker to his majesty. Wow. Um, and it's breech loading. So instead of having to like pack it down like that, like they used to, you'd actually put the ball in there. Oh, wow. OK. Um, buddy, I got to tell you, you got something here I've never even seen before. That could be a good thing. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my Ezekiel Baker rifle. It was from a family member, so I've had it for a couple years. I don't know that much about it. I know that it could be rare and hoping it's valuable. That's pretty cool. You know, Ezekiel Baker was really well known in the gun industry. Um, he made guns late 1700s, early 1800s. Okay. He was really well known for uh, like a lot of innovations and like weird stuff that he would do to guns that made them more modern. You know, this whole little mechanism here, I've never really seen before, especially with a flint lock and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty interesting to say the least. Okay. Uh, what are you looking to do with it? I want to sell it. Okay. Any idea? What you think it might be worth? Because I have, I, I truly have no idea. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking like twelve thousand five hundred. Uh, like I said, I have no idea. Okay. Um, do you mind if I have a buddy of mine come down and take a look no, at it? That'd be great. This is awesome. That's a good sign, right? Holy. I hope so. <laughs> oh yeah. This is crazy. Well, this is a one of a kind piece. Oh wow. And that's why I called you. <laughs> <laughs> so what can you tell me about it? So it's breech loading. Um, I've never seen this little lever type device that Baker made. So my best guess is that this is probably some type of prototype or it was a custom ordered gun. That's pretty cool. I have a slight concern about this lever. You see, it's really pretty loose. So firing it um, would be a good idea only because if this lever doesn't really work, then you have a cool gun and it's a prototype, but it's not really practical. So what's it worth if it fires? What's it worth if it doesn't? I think if it's non-functional, I think it's in the, the sort of 15,000 range. Oh, wow. uh, I think if it functions and this thing can actually shoot and perform as it should and be reloadable, I would be very comfortable saying it's $25,000. So we got to go shoot it. You mind meeting me out there tomorrow? It'd be really fun. Yeah, let's do that. All right, uh, come with me. I'll give you the directions. And Alex, I'll meet you out there tomorrow. All right. Appreciate cool. it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate you it. So uh, we ready to fire this thing, or? Yeah, we're ready to go. So the first thing we do is we use this little lever. We insert the ball, push the lever forward. Now that ball rolls forward into a little chamber. And now, see, the ball is gone. So then I take the black powder. Dump that into the little chamber. Push it forward. And now it is loaded. OK, eyes and ears. Here comes the bank. So at least it didn't blow up and it works. No, um, it didn't blow up at all. That was cool. The lever stayed down. That actually worked pretty well. Um, so what are we thinking it's worth? I think based on the fact that it works as designed, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's not another example out there. It's a prototype. It's super rare, Corey, and it's a really nice looking gun. I think you get 25,000 for it. Wow. Whoa. OK, um, well, I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Good luck. Appreciate it. Uh, so you still want 12 5 for it? Well, he said it's worth 25 so. <laughs> Would you do 15 uh, I know you got to make some money. How about 22 How about 18 It's going to be the most I can do. All right, I can do it, Gene. All right, cool. Appreciate it. Um, you want to meet me back at my shop? Uh, I'll get you a check and get you paid, all right? Sounds good. Thank you. Cool.
I was super happy I was able to make a deal today. It wasn't the 25 grand that he said it was worth, but 18,000. Super happy. My wife's gonna be really happy. Dude, the guy's wearing a Rolex. I never thought he was gonna go that low. <laughs>